Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here today. If you feel like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and I love it when you comment. That is my favorite part. Okay, so for today's video, we are going to use the Arcana palette by Shroud Cosmetics. This lovely gem is beautiful and I am missing fall so much. So yep, I'm gonna go dark, I'm gonna go folly, I'm gonna go for that time of year. I don't care that it's 90 degrees outside. So let's get into this video. I have my camera on a different setting and I'm really hoping it helps with the auto focusing noise. If it doesn't, this is going to have to be a voiceover. So fingers crossed, I'm figuring this shit out because yeah, I think I want to go into entity. Hopefully this turns out. I'm not fully sure what I want to do just yet, but I know I want to play with this palette. So I was going to make an order for VE Cosmetics. I love their style and they have like a Lost Boys palette and this really pretty green witch palette. You guys, the shipping is freaking outrageous. And you know what? I order from the UK. I order Lush wigs all the time and their shipping is not what this shipping costs. This was like, this shipping was like half of my price. So I was going to order two palettes. I'm going to go into sacred. So the palettes, you know, weren't like super bad, but price wise, it was like average. But when shipping popped up, it was going to be like my order in us dollars was going to be $106 a hundred and six dollars for two palettes and one was a small one and a lot like half of that price was shipping like i just i couldn't do it i i couldn't i wow i really want the palettes especially the two that i was going to buy but not I just don't, I just don't think I can do it for that price. There's, just because I love the aesthetic of the palettes. I mean, the color stories were pretty too, but I, I, I can't. I feel terrible, like, even thinking like that, but I'm going to go into Entity, but it was just crazy expensive and my opinion i mean what do you think like how much are you willing to spend on shipping i mean i get that it's in the uk but like i said i have ordered you know i've ordered pallets or pallets i've ordered things from the uk and didn't have that much of a shipping cost so I don't know. I'm just going to take some glitter glue and put it on my eyelid. I don't think I took enough. I either take too little or I take too much. It's really hard to get the right amount. So anything fancy with you guys? Anything new? Oh, my earrings. They're pretty cool, right? Um, these are just plugs, you know, that I got from somewhere, but these my sibling made me, so I wanted to wear them today. I'm not sure if dice and roses really go together, but you know, I'm going to go into chalice. I may have said that wrong. That's fine. Okay. It's fine. Ugh, the shimmer shade is so pretty. It is a beautiful. Yeah, 
And I'm going to flip my brush and I'm going to go into Entran Entran Enchantress. I, I can't say it. I'm sorry. That one. A little bit of fallout. I should be tapping and not, you know, I should be tapping. I really hope that the sound quality on this is better and you don't hear that auto focusing noise and the filming is better. I'm using a different setting so I don't know if the filming, filming, the quality of, you know, things is going to be better. I am going to take sacred and I'm going to throw it on my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to go into entity and place it on the inner half. I'm going to bring entity like a little bit around the uh, kind of makes me look like I have a bruise, which is fine because we all know it's a knot. Um, that is a problem with putting that down there. So just be wary or be aware, I guess. I'm going to go into that chalice shade. might even in in focus or in frame gosh I'm a horrible youtuber that's why I'm not very popular <laughs> but okay so I'm just gonna throw that there I think I want to take familiar and place it um as an inner corner highlight I'm gonna do my other eye, do a waterline and some lashes and a lippy, and I'll be back with a finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look. I like it. It's pretty cool. I mean, kind of feel like I should have gone a little bit more yellowy or more goldy, but. I like it. I ended up throwing um, the inner corner shade up on my brow and I went, don't do what I do, but I used a Mayron uh, lippy for my eyeliner and I don't know what these lashes are called. Never do. I take really poor care of my lashes. I don't save the thing and place them on. I just toss them on my desk and then grab lashes. But I am also wearing the liquid cat suit and kiss of death on my lips by wet and wild. I really like this color. That is my cat messing with the door. Anyways, this is the finished look. I really love that palette and I want to play with it more. So yeah. Oh, and I threw on fake freckles. Speaking of which, okay, so I have used three fake freckle products now, the Lime Crime, and I like the Lime Crime Sunkissed, I think it's Sunkissed, it's a freckle pen in amber. These are pretty good, okay, but they're not my favorite, all right? And then I got Freck, and I love this, but it's expensive, so I saw that Kimchi had a product like Freck. So I bought it and I don't like it very much. I can use it, but it's not my favorite. I like Freck a lot more. This is a much thinner formula. And so when you leave it on to get a dark freckle and then you go to like splotch it out, it it's so liquidy that it makes really large freckles. So 
I'm not a big fan and once it's gone, cause this freck is basically gone, I'm like trying to get everything out of it that I can, but it's basically gone. Once this is gone, I'll be going back to freck. But anyways, thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you next time. Okay, bye.